Hello viewers, welcome to Elimi TV, a station where you watch and learn. I am your tutor, Sarah Pomaida. So today I'm taking you through CRE Form 1, Lesson 11. The topic is creation and the fall of human being. And our subtopic is creation accounts, teaching, the teachings of the creation account. Welcome. So by the end of the lesson, I expect the learner to be able to state the teachings of creation stories. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to state the teachings of creation stories. Remember you have the two accounts of creation. We have the first account of creation and the second account of creation. So we want to see the teachings from the two biblical creation accounts. The first teaching we learn is, about, is that God is responsible for all creation. God is responsible for all creation. He is the sole creator. He is the sole creator. Because we can see that God's creation was good. Everything that he created was good. So he is responsible for all creation. Another teaching is that man is a co-creator and keeper of God's creation. Man is a co-creator and keeper of God's creation. You can see that man has a special place in God's creation. He was made in the image and the likeness of God. So we say man is a co-creator and keeper of God's creation. Another teaching is that God ordains marriage. Human beings were created so to socialize. You can see that a woman was made from man's flesh. She joins man in marriage and they become one flesh. So God is the one who ordains marriage. Another teaching is that sin is as a result of man and woman disobedience of God. Sin is a result of man and woman disobedience of God. Remember, man and woman are the one who disobeyed God by eating the forbidden fruit in the garden of Eden. So it's a result of man and woman disobedience. They failed to obey God. So after looking at the teachings about from the biblical creation account, let's see the responsibilities given to human beings by God. What were the responsibility that God gave to human beings? After creating man and woman, God asked man to do some things or give the, he gave them some responsibility. One is that they were to reproduce and multiply. Remember God made woman for man, for procreation and for companionship. So they were to give, to, they were to reproduce and multiply and fill the earth. Another responsibility is that they rule the rest of his creation. Man was to rule over the rest of his creation. Remember man was it's a special being before God. He was created with his image and likeness of God. So he was to rule over the rest of his creation. Another responsibility given to human beings is to be in charge of fish, birds, and all the animals. Man was to be in charge of everything. Remember, he was told to name all the animals, birds, and fish. Another responsibility given to human beings that was to cultivate the, to cultivate the garden and guide it. They were told that they will be toiling so that they can get some food to eat so they will cultivate the garden and also guide it. Another less the responsibility is that they want to eat from the fruits of the garden except from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. They were told to eat all the other fruits, all the other trees, fruits in the other trees except the tree of knowledge of good and evil which was at the center. But we see later that man and woman, they failed to obey God and they ate the forbidden fruit that was, which was in the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Another responsibility is that they were to name the animals. Man was given the responsibility to name all animals. Yes. He was to subdue the earth. Man was to subdue the world. The earth, I'm sorry. Another responsibility given to human beings is to transform the creation that God has provided to human beings. 
with he was to transform the creation to use God's creation transform God's creation that God has provided them with man was told to use creation forest rivers mountains with responsibility and respect all the all things were created by God so God wanted man to use all everything that he created responsibly and with the respect man was also to be a, st a steward of God's creation man was to be a steward of God's creation and finally you can see that man was given all human beings were given the responsibility to dominate the earth to dominate the earth he said man was a special being before God he was created in his likeness and image so he was to dominate the earth he was a superior nurse he was superior than other creations so that's the end of our lesson and i want to leave you with an activity answer the following question activity one state what you learn from the creation account two state the responsibility to given to man by god for on to our references, you can refer to Secondary Christian Religious Education Student Book 1, KLB 3rd Edition. Thank you for joining us. For this and more, you can contact us through our SMS number, which is on the screen. You can also visit us on YouTube, LMU TV, find us on Facebook, LMU TV, and on Twitter, LMU TV underscore KE. Till next time, bye-bye.